Okay, this fold is most commonly known as the origami fold, or it's also known as the bat fold, the butterfly fold, and the Chinese fold. Uh, basically, you start with your flat, you fold it in half, and then you fold it in half again. And I've heard a lot of people get really frustrated with this, but you just take this corner and you drag it down, so you're going to leave behind this other square back here, and it's going to form a triangle. Now you take this, and you flip it over, and you're going, this flap is going to be separate. So you're going to take this, and fold it usually in thirds. A lot of people for, I don't know, heavy wetters, whatever, they'll add a little extra absorbency. Um, you can just... I don't know, fold it, make it work, and then I think it'd be for a bigger baby, <laughs> this one. Fold it over, use your snappy, and detach it, and then tuck the legs in. you need a longer rise on a bigger baby, holding onto this back layer of cloth right here, you can scoot the whole thing down. So you end up with kind of a, a dip and you still have your absorbency and you end up with a longer rise. You'd fold it up and fold it over. On a smaller scale, take your flat, fold it in half to a tiny square. So you're folding it, I think, four times. You do the same thing. Let's see. Make a triangle. Now this is more for a newborn. You flip it over. And I don't believe you'll need any extra absorbency here. Put your newborn diaper. Fold over the wings. And then tuck your legs in. You can have, you know, just stuff everything where it needs to go.